Oh, she's wrapping Christmas presents. She still's not done with all her Christmas presents. You mean right now? Yeah, right now. No, she's not wrapping. You're not wrapping them right now, are you? Oh, are we good to go? Oh, Why don't you go? say so? Jeez. Well, we've been waiting on you for an hour. Back. Waiting on a woman. Waiting on a Vincent. I'm ready for breakfast. 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 <laughs> okay. Who's breakfast? What are you doing? Oh, I'm YouTube makeup tutorials. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rosalind, go ahead and tell YouTube what we're doing today. Oh, we are here at the Yingling Factory. We're gonna do a beer tasting, buy some awesome T-shirts. <laughs> we're doing the whole tour. We're gonna see all how it's all brewed. How That's made. pretty awesome. Maybe they bought some cool, some cool gear. Oldest brewery in the country. They got everything. Like there's, there's a whole like get the shop thing there. They got, like anything you can imagine. Look, but apparently they got Yingling cereal. I don't know why it starts with zero and it turns into beer, but man, they didn't make like a Lucky Charms beer, Vince. Oh, look at this stuff. What if they made a Lucky a beer out of Lucky Charms since they're making it on cereal? Charms. Oh, it's hat handles. That would be a good shifter for the 85. Do the cat games. Yeah, it is warm in here. This is the bottom of the group house. This is the bottom of the three of the four petals. I'm making one of those How It's Made. Here! It's like How It's Made video. Oh, oh. Being happy and look at him with What's his this? camera. What's this? What do you yeah. got to eat and drink? Is Nothing? What do you got to eat and drink? Nothing? What do I got to eat and drink? My muffin and my coffee. Food. I can't help it that I'm the smart one. I He's order regular coffee. He's a preppy kid. He's so preppy. I'm not preppy. Else. Look, look at him with I'm his not, camera. I'm and not preppy. Muffin. Look I'm at that cutie. cutie. Don't touch my muffins. <laughs> I'm loving all my muffins. Mm -mm. <laughs> look, I got to wait for nothing because I order simple stuff. I don't have to have nothing custom made with my name written on it. <laughs> I can't help it, Ross over here. Ross. <laughs> Months ago. Look, Sly. We need to come up. This <laughs> Sly, what are we doing today? Uh, Jed recommended the Camacho. Yeah. We're at Cigar Never International. We're having a boys' day at Cigar International. We got a scorpion on it, so we're going to get Cigar. What are you getting, Donald? It's got a supposed to be smooth. <laughs> he don't know. Just to see what makes a $30 cigar a $30 cigar. You don't have a palate for that, Stevie. I know, but I'd still like to find out what makes it worth 30 bucks. Okay. So, we're trying to get the turbo off. Not right now. Now we're just, right now oh, yeah, we're checking we're, lines. Yeah. Then we had to take the um We're taking the radiator off. No, nope, we didn't take the radiator off. No. Nope, not at all. What happened was I had to take the overflow off to get down to these bolts on this um, line coming off the charge air cooler, which seems to be a lot of oil. So I'm starting to think that I'm losing a, some kind of seal here. But yeah, we had to remove the uh, overflow, but in order to get all the hoses off, it basically was going to drain the radiator, which isn't a problem. I'm just going to catch in a bucket. Well, it overshot my bucket onto the steer link, so I couldn't get a bucket far enough under there. And now I got antifreeze all over my driveway. Kind of makes me mad. What are you gonna do? So now, what happened was taking that turbo off, some of the exhaust sides hanging up, so I need to wait till I have heat so I can get my torch bottles filled. But I wanna order a new starter for this back for a while. So I'm removing that. I thought it was gonna be a pretty nasty task, but honestly, it's gonna drop out here in a minute. And the other thing is, I feel like I stayed relatively clean for as much Work as I've been doing today. I've been climbing inside of engine compartments and. A little bit more. Yep. Oh, these things get heavier. So I think we're done. We're done with the uh, the excursion today. The, the old beast. 
But uh, I gotta get some heat so I can try to get that turbo off. The exhaust is a little bit hung up there. So I'll pick up some heat this week, but I can start ordering parts. I know that turbo is done. But, oh, and I got ordering that back of the starter. eBay's so much cheaper than going to the store. I saved like a quarter of the money. Or it's a quarter of the price, I should say. These were left like in my trailer at work. They loaded something. It's like a little one by two or something and then cardboard. So I'm gonna build, I have all this trash to burn. I'm gonna build a trash rocket stove. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but I'm pretty excited to try it. Okay, so now we got this tall column. And what we're gonna do, let me use a knife. I'm gonna put holes in the bottom of it. That way air keeps coming roaring up through there. And I'll cut a bigger door so I can light the fire. I'm gonna put all my trash inside of it. My only issue is, I didn't realize how much volume is actually there. It's only really filled to like there. But, I don't know. I'm gonna light it anyway, I need to get rid of it. So I got this bacon filled, bacon filled, bacon grease rag. I was hoping that would start the fire. I wanna see how well that's gonna burn. It really doesn't burn, that's kind of crazy. What happened was I was cooking bacon, and I wiped it, the pan out, to get all that grease on that rag, so I figured it'd be a nice fire starter. An accelerant, as they'd say the murder mystery shows. You can definitely tell the flames are growing. Yeah, look at this flame, man. Oh, yes! <laughs> it is like 30 foot high at least and that's all that's left I think it worked better than I thought it would here's the deal the other day I was at the gun show and I picked up these bean bag rounds it's a 12 gauge bean bag round all right so <laughs> it's a Mossberg shotgun if I can get 1 million subscribers which I'm at like 40 Thor? I don't know. I'm not at many. Okay, I'm under 50. But if I get 1 million subscribers, Titus said I can shoot him with one of those beanbag rounds. I'm agreeing to it. Yeah! Now, now go get people to subscribe. <laughs> well, welcome back to my kitchen. So, we're going to do another recipe, and this is easy. This is another crock pot recipe. I don't really know what to call it, um, but the prep time is, is, is very minimal on it. And the, the Texture consistency when it's done is a little bit strange, but the taste is awesome. So, um, I've been working on my truck all day, and I just want to throw something together. That way I have some meals prepped for the week. So, this is what I'm going to do. We're going to start with chicken. Chicken is going to be the base of it. And you go ahead, you get your cutting board and your knife. Scarlet got me this knife, which is awesome, because a five-year-old actually picks out awesome birthday presents. Um, and you're going to cube your chicken breast. Um, you're going to want to go ahead, fry up some bacon, and cut that into some pieces. Some cream of chicken, take that, dump that in our crock pot. Go ahead, take some of your chicken here, and we're going to take about half of it, right? Dump that into your crock pot. Go ahead, take some uh, green beans. Throw a can of that in there. Next, we're going to take some tater tots. We're going to throw half the tater tots in. Perfect. Then, another can of green beans. And really, you can do this any order that you want. It's really not important. Chicken. Now, here's where it gets a little bit important. I got another small can of cream of chicken. The measurements don't matter. You just wing it. We're going to throw that right on top there. Grab some kind of utensil like spoon. Spread that out nice. Now with everything mixed in, take the rest of your tater tots.
Okay. I just dropped the tater tot. Take your bacon bits. Look, look how full this thing is. What we got left? Oh yeah, cheese. I guess I should have prepped this a little bit. My hands have some cream of chicken on it. Dump a crap ton of cheese on there. So your crock pot should be nice and full and look something like this. You're going to put the crock pot in the base and you're going to go ahead and you're going to cook that for like eh, five hours on high. It doesn't matter. As long as the chicken gets done. That's the only thing that matters. Um, everything else is like tater tots. Now the reason I said about the, the texture, the consistency is the tater tots get a little bit mushy. So it almost becomes like a really dense soup. But I'm telling you, it's delicious. The only thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to throw a little bit of salt in there. Um, and, and that's about it. I just I add a little bit more salt than most people because I'm unhealthy and I like a lot of salt. So salt to taste, I guess you'd say. Hey, I'll catch you guys on the next vlog. I'm a green killer. Yeah! Now, now go get people to subscribe. <laughs>